Um, CG. Uh, yeah, can't talk. Uh, CD Projekt Red has released a public statement to Twitter on February 8th, stating that the company has fallen victim to successful hacking attack. The hacker group left a ransom note within CD Projekt's system, proclaiming that they have spread full copies of the source code for the uh, Perforce server for Cyberpunk 2077, Witcher 3, Gwent, and apparently it's some unreleased version of the Witcher 3. In addition to this, the hackers stated that they've gained access to documents relating to accounting, administration, legal, HR, investor relations, and more. Uh, CG Project stood firm that they will not negotiate with the group and they will not be paying any amount of uh, any ransom. And that to the extent of their knowledge that the personal data of their employees and customers have not been compromised. Um, the files in question have since been sold on the dark web with the upfront purchase price set at $7 million and bids starting at $1 million and moving up in half million in increments. Uh, to prove the validity of their uh, threats, the source code for Gwent has also been released to prove it. Um, IGN reports that multiple cybersecurity experts believe that the hacker group, uh, this, this is one word, uh, Hello Kitty <laughs> is behind <laughs> the attack. That's a... Uh, Hello Kitty is attacking uh, Cyberpunk and that this uh, data breach likely has nothing to do with gris- with uh, disgruntled gamers so much as an average instance of ransomware. So it's not like a mm-hmm. gamers rise up moment. It's just just happened to be a gaming company. Yeah, that that lines up with because um, I remember I I had had the moment it came out and I saw the ransom. Note, I had this brief moment of like, I almost feel like this got to be bullshit just because of the way. The timing as well as the way the note read, but then actually after talking to some people, I number one, I realized, and that, that was just an inst- a lingering feeling that wasn't really something I should put too much stock in. And also having people explain to me, like, especially based on Polish law, or I believe it was either Polish law, yeah, Polish law, of how if they did fake something like that, the, the risk and damage it would do to them is so not worth whatever possible, like, non-gain they would do, and there's, like, nothing they can mm-hmm. do anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um... But like the, the with what Jose just said, like it, then the way that note reads makes sense because they wanted to make it seem like it was a whole gamers rise up thing. When in reality, mm-hmm. I can actually mm-hmm. pull up the. Uh, I don't know if we want to read through the whole ransom. Oh God, note or whatever. no! I can't. I can't. <laughs> you got lulls, pones. Yeah, yeah, it literally opens with that. <laughs> Y'all got pwned. It says, uh, pwned. It, it, it's all misspelled shit to you. You've been epically pwned. We have dumped full copies of the source code. Uh, let's see. Any other- the only way it could be lamer <laughs> if it said all your source code all belong to us. <laughs> yeah. As long, yeah. If, if, if employee and customer data isn't part of this leak, then that's good. Um, um, you know, we don't want, uh, we, you know, leaks are leaks. It's, you know, it's, I mean, hacks are unfortunate and, but, um, as long, at least my opinion is as long as, you know, employee data doesn't leak, that's yeah. ultimately, ultimately for the best. We don't want another Capcom incident. Yeah. I know, that's uh, Derek from, about this. I know Derek from SGC and his uh, thoughts on it was basically, um, cause there's, uh, there was an upswell of uh, gamers rise up saying like rejoicing, like, yeah, fuck CD project. They fucked us. We'll fuck you. No. Um, so Derek went ahead and said like, he's not enjoying this trend. The shit isn't cute. It is. Mm-hmm. It's not leaks. And it puts employees, personal information out to the highest bidder. Uh, fortunately it, that's not the case where it's not people's personal mm-hmm. information, but still I, mm-hmm. I, uh, I know Blaine and I have given a fair amount of shit to CG project very fucking fairly, but, um, going after the company in this way, I don't think is justified in basically any way. Yeah. Like, like, re- like, regardless, like, obviously, like, yeah, personal information, don't fucking do that shit. But even with this, it, it's a fucking video game. And, but e- even then, though, that's not like the highest of my fucking concerns when it comes to CDPR. But obviously, for the people, um, if, if this was like a big gamers rise up, let's go fuck with a company. Um, there's more important fucking things in life than video game, not as good as you thought it would be. As no, much as like, transphobic bullshit that was going on. Well, like, and I wouldn't even, like, I, I kind of agree with Mesa. Like, if this was literally just like, oh, we we dumped mm-hmm. your source code. I mean, it would still suck that the source code yeah. was dumped because I feel bad for the people who had to work on it. But, like, I still would probably just be like, oh, that sucks, but whatever. I, mm-hmm. I, have, a, I have absolutely no fucking sympathy for any financial data or whatever that got leaked specifically for, of like, CD Projekt Red of its 
CEO of mm-hmm. like the executives. I really could give a shit less about them. They're not going to be affected by them. They're not going to. They have their shit protected. They have their shit safe. Um, you don't get to be a fucking billionaire by not having your shit secure. Mm-hmm. Um, but I genuinely feel for the people who now are wondering, like, shit, is my data somewhere out there and could be like, I might get mm-hmm. an identity theft. And, and people are going, paying for it and shit too. People are paying yeah. for it. Am I am I at risk? Am I in danger? Is am I even being protected? Mm-hmm. I care about them. Yeah. And I also am mad Absolutely. That, like someone like like a company like CD Projekt Red again, like not to say that you all ever anticipate you ever expect something like this to happen, but at the same time, I don't. I think it's kind of fucked. It's like if I was in the position of the people that work for CD Projekt Red, I'd be like, how did they fucking? <clears throat> how did they let this happen? Rather, <clears throat> where they yeah. don't have enough cybersecurity uh, steps in place to prevent something like yeah. this. Yeah, or like they kept saying it was a something. It was like an actor, and I was like, did they mean that? Like they had a. They, they made it. From what I remember from CD Projekt Red's um, <laughs> statement, they made it almost sound like someone was like in was like in person for a job interview or something and managed to just steal a flash drive. Like that's it was so oddly put together. That's mm-hmm. it. yeah. The initial statement they put on Twitter was oddly vague. Yeah. Yeah, the way they put it says an unidentified actor gained unauthorized access to an internal network, collected certain data belonging to CD Projekt Capital Group, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, what the fuck does and that then, mean? Yeah, it, and like, <laughs> like, it's, it's not like a regular tweet. Like, they attach an image with, like, full paragraphs or whatever. So, <laughs> I guess they could have elaborated. But I, I imagine, like, so much of this is, like, legally stuff, too. Yeah, that's, that's mm-hmm. also a definite possibility. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, hacks suck. Um, fuck CD Projekt for multiple reasons, but this ain't it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just, like, I mean, how happy, it's just how enjoyable that Nintendo hack was. Or it, was just, it was just information, and as far as I'm aware, there wasn't, employee, there wasn't any employee information part of it whatsoever. It was just, hey, look at this thing that we found. Hey, look at this thing that we found. Um, and, you know, you know, you're talking about I'm not, the, I'm not advocating uh, for hack hacking, but like you're talking about the uh, Giga Leak, right? Yeah, yeah. We're just like uh, cute little nods, like oh, here's some art that we yeah. that we uh, hey, look, messed with like 30 Luigi, years ago. Turns out Luigi is in Mario 64. Isn't that fun? <laughs> hey, we, we got the original samples for the music in Mario Sun in my Mario uh, oh, yeah. Mario also World. Like, that's also like leaking shit that like you would never see because yeah. because. Nintendo, like, it's that whole thing. But Nintendo doesn't have an obligation to reveal it, but at the Absolutely. same time, it's like it's games that they're not. I mean, they did sell Mario sixty four again, actually, but like, yeah, most of it is games that you're not going to see again, or you're not going to like. It's, it's, it's just like in the greater like Nintendo vault, like that shit's never coming mm-hmm. out. So yeah, I, I think then, it yeah. Is- the Capcom leak directly after it with. The, the employee data directly being part of it. No, literally. I'm, I remember yeah. getting a straightforward answer from someone. I don't recall what the answer is. I should have saved it. But I think it comes back to, like, why is the video games industry even so secretive about shit like this compared to stuff like the film industry where they don't give a fuck. They're like, I don't know. We're, like, fiddling around with this script. It might come out in 12 years. We don't give a fuck. We'll just let you know. Yeah. But, um... Fuck. Oh, that's my train of thought. <laughs> it's all good. I never had one to begin with. Choo choo. <laughs> uh, shit. Okay, let's move on to the next story then. Unless anyone else has any other closing <laughs> thoughts. Oh, actually, no. I forgot one thing. K- Mesa, imagine yes. a universe, if you will, parallel mm-hmm. to our own, mm-hmm. where at the very least, like like everything else about the game is exactly the way it is. Everything surrounding it, CD project, whatever. Mm-hmm. At least imagine a universe where Cyberpunk was actually a great game at the very fucking least. At, at least all this fucking controversy would be fucking worth something. <laughs> Instead, it's just such a fucking sloppy <laughs> turd fucking surrounded 6. by five out of ten. All this around, all of this about a, like, <laughs> all of this about like um, shoot, what, uh, what game? What's the name of that game again? Uh. It feel, yeah, it feels like all this conversations about that fucking Indiana Jones game for the Wii. Um, There's an Indiana Jones game for the Wii? Yes, Indiana yes. Jones and the 
it's a, it's a mediocre game is my point. Just like, it's just uh, okay. <laughs> all this controversy and energy about fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if it was, if it was something like phenomenal, we'd be like, Hey, like, yeah, there's this really shitty stuff going on about it. Like you can say this about like multiple pieces of art throughout the time that have had like problematic elements. It's like, yes, we need to point this out, whatever. Mm-hmm. But at the yep. end of the day, at least the product is good. But in this case, it's just like, yeah, no, it's, it's still a turd with t- extra turd on it. I mean, depends on some 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 YouTubers that I guess like the taste of Square Enix Dick. It's apparently a really really good game. <laughs> uh, I want to be. I want to be actually number one. Allegedly, allegedly. Number two. Um, I'm not. Call, I'm not calling out anybody who just genuinely enjoyed the game. I love trashy games, but like, I, I genuinely enjoy Vampire and that game's fucking. But um. I just am really tired with YouTubers that act as like it's weird. YouTubers that want to pretend like they're good video essayists and borderline journalists, but then don't actually have any ethical compass. And I'm just like, okay, so I don't need to care. Take what you're mm-hmm. saying seriously at all. Mm-hmm. No, I'm not going to say who I'm talking. To right now. No worries. Um, let's see. 